Hey movers, I'm Josh Gray from Wear Bands, and today I'm gonna to take you through a kettlebell workout, which is gonna be a full body kettlebell workout using just the Wear Bands and the kettlebell. For this workout, I selected a small, medium, and a large kettlebell. So I have a 26, a 35 pound, and a 53 pound kettlebell. The first movement we're gonna start with today is a thruster or a squat to press. We're gonna do 45 seconds of work and then a 15 second rest. So first you bring the kettlebell up into the rack position, and then we're gonna rock it, 45 seconds of work. So here we go, ready, begin. Squat down, press up. The wear bands give you a lot of extra resistance for the legs. They also make you aware of your core to make sure you're not getting your hip pulled into a weird position as you're doing the exercise. There we go, keep moving. About halfway through this first set. Try to keep my pace. It's very important in the squats, we're sitting through the heels of the feet in the squat. Drive through the heels. Got about five seconds. And relax, good. We'll take about a 15 second rest break, shake those legs off. If you're at home wearing the wear bands, you'll feel that you wanna keep your core connected, keep your glutes engaged as you rest. Here we go, about five seconds. Gonna bring that bell into the rack position. And begin. I tried to select a couple easy exercises today that anybody could do at home with just a couple kettlebells. Almost there, keep moving. Keep moving. Ooh, I know you're starting to feel those legs now. Keep moving. Lots of heel pressure. Keep working, keep working. Try to keep my pace. Don't slow down on me now. Don't stop now. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Bell down. Awesome. That's a great start. We're going to move on to our medium kettlebell. We're going to go into what's called a kettlebell row. So we're going to put the same arm on the same leg, keep a flat back. We're going to start pulling with the arm. We'll start the left arm so you can see it here. We're going to start about five seconds. You guys ready? Let's get it. Strong rows, pulling with your shoulder blades. Trying to keep that back flat, not using a lot of momentum. I'm already sweating, I hope you're sweating. Let's keep it going, keep it going. Try to keep my pace, stay with me, stay with me. And if you selected a good kettlebell, you should be feeling this right now. 35 pound kettlebell should be enough for guys. Maybe a 26 for the ladies. Keep working. Whew. Keep pulling, five seconds, don't stop now. You've come so far. Keep it up. And time, good. About a 15 second rest, shake them off. Again, making sure as you wear the wear bands that we're not getting lazy and letting the wear bands pull you forward. Keep your glutes engaged. From here, same arm, same leg. And let's fire it up, let's get started, go. On this, you'll notice how flat my back is. A lot of times I wanna keep my head in a neutral position with my spine also. You can see there's not a lot of momentum. My arm and shoulder blades are doing all the work. Keep working, don't stop now. How you feeling? I know you're feeling, I'm feeling it, keep moving. Keep moving, good. Woo, all right. Next exercise is gonna do a goblet squat. A goblet squat, we're gonna hold the kettlebell by the horns, hold it like a king's goblet. From there, sit through the heels, 45 seconds of work. Let's get started and begin. For this here, I like to try to touch my elbows to the thighs, making sure I keep my chest upright and strong. Goblin squats aren't too bad. Do it with the wear bands on. It's a whole different story. You can feel them. You can feel them. Keep it up. How you guys feeling? Come on, movers. Don't stop. Try to keep my pace at least. And rest. Good. 
All right, our next exercise will be a kettlebell push-up. We're gonna use the kettlebell to provide an instability factor. So you gotta keep your core engaged. Again, don't let the wear bands pull you into a bad position. Keep your glutes engaged. All right, we got five seconds. Get down in the position. Three, two, and begin. Ha. You wanna get your chest all the way down to the kettlebell. Keep driving. I got sweat dripping, do you? I'm working, you working? And rest, good. Excellent work so far, you're rocking. Next exercise, we're gonna move to the heavy kettlebell. For me, I selected a 53. I'm gonna show you guys from a slight angle. I'm gonna teach you the big three of doing a kettlebell deadlift. Butt back, knees back, tall spine. This is a grind pattern, we're not gonna rush this one. Do as many quality reps as you can. Make sure you're lifted with the glutes and hamstrings, not your back. Butt back, knees back, tall spine. You should feel the back of the legs working all through the hamstrings and glutes. I'm gonna face you so you can see it here. Keep that chest up, keep that tall spine. Keep it up, you got this, you got this. Come on, come on, keep moving. I'm pulling with the back of the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings. Come on, I know they're burning. Don't stop now, I'm burning with you. I'm burning with you, come on. About five seconds coming up. One more. And rest, good job. Very good job. All right, last exercise of the day. Last set, best set, do your best work right now. We're gonna do a kettlebell, L sit with a medium weight. Whew. Have a seat on the ground, kind of similar to the goblet squat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive the knees. Let's go. 45 seconds, keep that chest up. The wear bands give you excellent extra resistance here. Low abs are firing. My quads are on fire. Woo, keep it up. Keep moving. Don't stop. Don't stop. How many can you do in this 45 seconds? Challenge yourself. I'm doing this for you. I can't stop. You can't stop with me. Keep moving. And one. Mover. Yeah, that's how you do it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button below and to subscribe for new workouts daily. Go to wearbands.com to get your wear band system.